It's December 31st, and I still haven't painted the Queen of December, uh, being Rasputina. Why haven't I done that? Well, um, I'm actually knee-deep in another project, and I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. But uh, today, I wanted to see how far I could get with uh, Rasputina, so, and we're going to talk about skin a little bit. So, uh, let me show you where I'm at. All I did so far was just sort of preload the eyes. So there's the eyes. Try to get a better shot here. There we go. Put some light on those eyes. So the eyes are done. Now I have to cut around the eyes um, and do the face. As far as the skin, I'm going to go with an extremely pale uh, skin. So I'm going to be starting off much higher than I normally would with skin. Uh, I'm actually going to start with light flesh, then I'm going to wash that, go back to light flesh, and then highlight up a bit from there. So let me cut in the face and, and do the base coat of the light flesh, and I'll be right back. Alright, cut around the eyes. <clears throat> As you can see, um, just did a base coat right now. So the next thing... I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of this flesh. So I did a little ring there where that glove meets and I'm going to do this leg and that arm. Um, and then I'm going to start my washing process. Now one thing to note when you're working with flesh, the reason why uh, so many people find flesh to be problematic is because uh, they might be working with flesh that is too thick. So they might not be thinning it properly. Um, they may not be doing multiple passes. Uh, so this is really where patience um, comes in. You want to you wanna be to do thin multiple passes of flesh so that you end up with the most even looking uh, coverage that you can get. Um, and also, you know, you, you really got to work with a flesh system that, that uh, you're comfortable with. Uh, a lot of different paint manufacturers make um, different colors of flesh, so the color is very important. The other thing is the sheen. Um, like I said, I, I stick to Vallejo model color because the sheen is flatter and I prefer that. Some people don't like flat flesh. Some people want a little bit of sheen to their flesh and that's fine. They can work with uh, a, another manufacturer's flesh. But I'm sticking with Vallejo because that works for me. So um, let's get going on doing the base coating for the rest of this uh, this model's flesh. Let's see if I can... Alright. Ooh. Make sure that I'm secured using my fun tack. That would be bad. So, I'm going to come back in. Make sure... Am I in frame? Yes, I am. There we go. So, come in. Like I said, this is a very light, she's going to end up being very light skin, um, which is cool because, you know, that fits her thematically. That said, I am a little bit worried about my color combo because with such light washed out, or light flesh, she could look very washed out if I, if the complementary colors are too light or too pale. Maybe that's something I could shoot for, though. Maybe I'm okay with her being so sort of washed out. I'm just going to cut around the areas here. This initial coat may not hide, which is okay. You can always come back, do another pass. In fact, I would probably recommend you just get used to painting flesh 
the base coat flush in at least twice before you do your washes and highlights. It actually seems to be covering okay. I don't know if you're seeing this or not. I hope so. I'm having a little fun tack issue here too. That's why the model's wiggling. Just remember though, flesh go as thin and as light as you possibly need to. Uh, you don't want to risk having crusty looking flesh or, uh, you know, really thick, gross looking flesh. Sorry, paintbrush in my mouth. In fact, I'm going to add just a little bit more water here. Uh, normal flesh mix mixture for me is one to one. I'll go thinner if I need to, though, depending on the uh, manufacturer of the flesh. For example, if it's like Talarn Wash, I'll actually, I'm sorry, Talarn Flesh, the GW Foundation paint, which I use from time to time if I'm going for a darker skinned model. Um, that one, I, you may have to, to thin like three drops of water or more per drop of paint. So, base coat coming in. I'm going to let this dry. Normally, if I'm speed painting, while I'm letting this dry, I'm actually cutting the areas of clothing where clothing hits adjacent to the flesh. But we're not really speed painting today. Today, I just wanted to show you guys how I do flesh. Good, I'm going to let that dry and be right back with the wash. Alright, so for the wash, I go with a very thin down Griffin Sepia. Now, washing skin is always nice because you're gonna, it's going to give you a little bit of shadow and in addition, it's actually going to help smooth things out. Um, <clears throat> the key with washing flesh is you want the wash to sit in where there's going to be the most amount of shadow so I'm actually purposely brushing this wash into things like the crevice around the knee any place where flesh meets cloth you can see hopefully you can see well, I'll, sh I'll show you some close-ups of it when it's washed um, washing will also tone your skin up a little bit so that's why I started so light is because I knew the wash would take me down a bit darker and I'm going to have to get back to that color anyway so it's okay to go ahead and do that with a wash um, you could try spot applying washes but I, I personally don't care for that because uh, I think that's a little that that puts you a little bit at risk of uh, maybe not getting what you want. In other words, you might spot apply a wash and you notice that your skin doesn't isn't blending very well because you didn't wash the main parts of the skin. Um, another thing I should point out is female models with their features they're very subtle so you don't want to over highlight or, or exaggerate too much in fact you want to do very little exaggeration your highlights should should be more looked at more like additional base coats if anything because you're going to come over most of that part so let me show you the washed model here. Sorry for all the lens changing, but that's what we have to do. If you want to see all this stuff the way it's intended to be seen. So, ooh, 
Let me get some overhead lighting. I think that's better. There we go. So here's Recipe Tina with a wash in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, highlight that pale up 80%, that pale skin, um, and then maybe come back with one more uh, lighter highlight. But it's gonna. I'm gonna keep it really subtle. So anyway, um, let me mix up my next color, and I'll be right back. Okay. So <clears throat> after the wash, took it up again, um, back to the original color, and I'm planning on going one lighter than that. But right now, what I need to do is, uh, this is a good time to do some effects on the face to do a little makeup job here. Um, so what I did was I took some of this violet, mixed the violet uh, in with a drop of my light flesh color and I'm gonna start doing uh, the makeup. And my phone's ringing, isn't that nice? So people like to call the worst time. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this phone call and, and then I'll do the face. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. So this is where you really do need that super small brush. I hope everything is in frame. I hope. So, just, I'm just going to hit that little crevice there. I don't even know if I can get this on camera or not. Well, something must be going on because I'm getting texted to you. Don't you know I'm trying to make a video? What's the matter with you people? <laughs> Pretty funny. Just kidding. It's probably my brother calling to see if we are going to be able to get in a game today it's New Year's we have there's going to be no no chance of that for me but I can at least show you guys how to do eyeshadow oops I'm out of frame Let me uh, finish the rest of this makeup job and the eyeshadow off camera. I'll be right back. Highlights makeup in. I took up that uh, light flesh wash. Ooh, let's go this way. That's actually not bad. Um, took up that light flesh wash up. A tone. You can see that the highlights were, the highlights are kept to a really bare minimum because this is a female model. Um, so yeah, I mean, you most of the, like I said, most of the highlights consider those almost like another base coat because, uh, ooh, wow, this is really uncomfortable. <laughs> We're getting our process down, folks. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna just do a little bit of quick highlighting here on the leg. So bring it in. This time, that first uh, base coat would say it was about maybe 80, 90 percent. This is gonna be more like 70. Bring this in. Should look pretty good once it's dry. But again, you know, the main thing with skin, water thin, multiple coats. <clears throat> Pay attention to your detail in your shadows. And, um, you know, it just takes practice. 
find a paint system that works well with how you want your skin to look. Vallejo model color works fine for me. Um, but before that, I was using the P3 skin because I like the P3 skin. But, uh, you know, after a while, it just the sheen started to bug me. So I went with Vallejo model color. Um, so really, that's all I'm going to do to the skin. Um, I may take it up. No, I probably won't. I'm probably not going to go any lighter than this because I, I run the risk of uh, the model appearing to be too washed out against her her clothing and I'm gonna be going like uh, on the clothing it's gonna be um, like a violet and blue a little bit more like the studio version uh, I'll probably go pink here so anyway that's it for skin um, I may or may not include more steps but uh, let's just keep going with this model and see what's going on thanks